at it again and uh, we've got a very interesting video today. I've got a few different clips that I'm going to be combining together into one video so stick around. It, 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 it's, um, it's quite the doozy. You are definitely going to want to watch this one. You're not going to want to miss it. But before we hop into it, hit that like button. All right. Really helps out with the YouTube algorithm to get these videos out to more and more folks. All right. As you guys have noticed, um, at least all of my shorts, I know for a fact my shorts, uh, there's something weird going on with my YouTube shorts. And a lot of you have noticed it. Like when you click on my YouTube short to watch it, it says that nobody has commented. It says I have zero comments on my YouTube shorts every time I upload one. But when you click on the actual comments, there's all types of comments in there. Like people have actually gone in there and commented. So make sure you guys are hitting that like button and sharing these videos. It's the arrow button down below. Also, if you would like to support my channel, all right, go to DocRichClothing.com and go and cop some of that merch. Uh, all types of things on that website, okay? Go and take a look. And um, with that being said, let's dive in. Interesting. Interesting to see the black communities in Chicago and New York screaming bloody murder now because these illegal immigrants are coming into your towns, being sent into your towns to take over your sh to take over your shelters for your homeless, take your jobs, everything. And now you're off. I've been warning you folks, you black folks in the inner cities for years. The white liberal politician is your enemy facts malcolm x said it in 65 in a speech the white liberal is the black man's enemy He's there are many whites who are trying to solve the problem but you never see them going under the label of liberals that that white person that you see calling himself a liberal is the most dangerous thing in the entire western hemisphere he's the most deceitful he's like a fox and a fox is almost is always more dangerous in the forest than the wolf. You can see the wolf coming. You know what he's up to. But the fox will fool you. He comes at you with his mouth shaped in such a way that even though you see his teeth, you think he's smiling. My guy in the last clip wasn't lying. Malcolm X actually said it. And this wasn't the only time he said it. Share this with your share this with your Democrat friends. I think more more folks need to see this because uh, until until I embarked on this journey of figuring out the truth, I had no clue that Malcolm X had ever said anything like this. I had no clue. Zero idea. Including the YouTube short that I dropped uh, yesterday, actually, of MLK. Said basically the same thing. MLK basically said, I think I have made a mistake and I am integrating black people into a burning house. And he was talking about the Democrat Party. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Go and check out my YouTube short. You'll hear it. So not only do you have Malcolm X saying, uh, yeah, these Democrats saying it's not it. But you also had Martin Luther King Jr. MLK saying the same thing. Yeah. Let that one sink in. Share this video, guys. Arrow button down below, all right? Copy the link, text it to it. all of your Democrat friends. Everyone needs to have this information, needs to see that clip and hear it for themselves. Not from you, not from anybody else. They need to hear that themselves, okay? Let's continue on. Is the black man's enemy. He's a fox. He's a sneaky fox. He says that he's going to help you for his own personal agenda. And here is another fucking example of that. But yet you'll keep voting for these white fucking liberal politicians that don't give a fuck about you. Hopefully this wakes you up. Hey, listen, I, I, I had to bleep out the cursing. OK, but um, y'all get the message. He's not lying. If you haven't heard about the story of the Chicago residents being angry that the migrants are coming in check out this next clip here you go it is insulting that you would consider such action about a forgotten community that none of you live in developing tonight outbursts and outrage at a community meeting in south shore over a housing plan for migrants 
The debate comes as the city deals with a crisis of where to put migrants bust in from the border. Elizabeth Matthews is live now with more. Elizabeth. Corey and Don, contentious to say the least. This forum was a chance for city leaders to get input from the public about the old South Shore High School housing migrants. The city got their input. A packed house at the South Shore International College Prep High School. The crowd voicing their opinion, strongly opposing the addition of migrants in their community. Yeah. Mm hmm. You you read you you read that sign right. Build the wall. Twenty twenty four. Who wants to build the wall? <laughs> That's crowd voicing their opinion, strongly opposing the addition of migrants in their community. I am just outraged. I'm outraged, and I don't understand why. Was chosen. City representatives saying the old South Shore High School would not be a shelter, but one of three respite centers for the migrants to temporarily sleep, eat, and take a shower, starting with about 250 people taking up the building's first floor. This is a way for the city to get the current 300 migrants out of the police stations. Questions were asked, but answers hard to hear interrupted by the upset crowd. Before the meeting, a small protest of South Shore neighbors demanding the energy put into the migrant issue be put into their neighborhoods. It is a slap in the face that we as citizens of the United States of America do not have the resources and support, but you're going to bring people who are not citizens here in our community, in our buildings that we pay taxes for, that you took away from us. Yes. That is completely unacceptable. We are in a humanitarian crisis right now. The black people in Chicago are bleeding on the streets. Mayor-elect Brandon Johnson had this to say about the migrant crisis. We have a responsibility to make sure that families who are seeking love and support here in the city of Chicago and throughout the state of Illinois, that they are not just welcome, but they are serviced. So is this a done deal? A spokesperson for Mayor Lori Lightfoot's office says this is a possible solution, but still a fluid situation. Reporting live tonight, Elizabeth Matthews, Fox 32. Maybe, maybe, maybe this is what it takes. Maybe this is what it, what it takes to wake people up to reality. Malcolm X, MLK, don't vote for these foxes. Now they're actually getting to feel it. Not just hear, you know, Republicans who are considered, you know, the worst people on earth, according to, you know, some folks. Now they don't just now they just don't have to hear it from Republicans. They get to feel it in their own city from the, the very people that they voted for. A school that they allegedly took from them, closed it down. Now they're all of a sudden opening it back up. Why didn't they keep it open? Why didn't they have it open before available for the residents there? To house the residents that were already living in the area. Just saying. You know, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Hey. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. I think I think uh, it's great that uh, my brother at the beginning of the video came out and spoke the way that he did. And said what he said. Because it needed to be said. I don't think enough people are saying what needs to be said. And he definitely did. Uh, the, the, the person holding the sign in the back of the crowd uh, definitely said what needed to be said. <laughs> man, oh man. Yeah, it's getting crazy out here, man. It's getting crazy. But as always, y'all let me know what you thought about all of this in the comment section below. Like, share, comment, and hit that subscribe button. It's right up over there. Click, click that thing to subscribe. Click it. And then uh, check out that video right over there, too. All right? And go to DocRichClothing.com. Peace and love. I'm out.